MachineTutorials.com. Yo, what's good? This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Here with a quick video to show you how to route multiple channels of Machine 2.0 inside of FL Studio and to be able to capture that in real time as audio to track out your beats or whatever. So, really simple to set up actually. You go into, make sure you load Machine as a plugin. You go to the little gear icon. You want to come over here to where it says processing. And you want to set up your outputs. What I usually do is just set this one to one and auto map the rest. You can auto map it from the beginning and it'll start on the second output. It's really up to you. You come over to settings. You could also save this so now anytime you load machine, it'll automatically have those routings. But it's so simple, I feel like you don't even really need to do that. But you can if you want. Anyway, so you got that ready. Now you want to go into machine and route your sounds. And I'm going to start right here with the kick. You always want to make sure you're on the channel page, sound, so you can change the output. I'm going to go one. And also I want to route this little sample. I'll route that one to six. All right, so everything's going to be routed to the mixer now. So if I go up here and open the mixer, I'll have my actual input on these different channels right here. Now, of course, you can go in and add your effects on the different channels if you want to. So now we have that routed. I want to show you how quick it is to actually record your performance. So if you want to track it out really quick. So we're going to come down here and click the little record the disc icons for whatever tracks you want to record. We're going to just click all of them, one through six. And then you're going to hit record. You're going to want to record directly to the playlist. So right here, audio to the playlist as an audio clip. I don't need an audio input because I don't want to record that. So, Alright, so now we got everything. You can see right there, everything is ready to go. You can see the different drops. If we actually go in and play it, it will sound proper. And I'm going to go through and actually mute these tracks so we can listen to it. So like I said, that's pretty much it. Now you have everything tracked out, separate audio tracks with your performance, you know, with your mutes, your solos, your dropouts, whatever you want to do. If you were tweaking the knobs for filters or any other effects, all that stuff will get recorded as audio tracks directly into the playlist. So really, really simple inside of FL Studio. Of course, if you got any questions, let me know. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com. Peace.